was not truly lost. That the prophecy of the Midnight Sun is still a threat. I cannot do what you ask. But there is a contingency. To know it, you must know how it came to pass. <laughs> it all started with that fanatic, Hiram Shaw. Your predecessor thought witches were competition and sought to root them out. Shaw was formidable. More than he should have been. We battled him for years, to a stalemate. Amidst the conflict, life went on. For Lilith more than I. Love led her to do what all the blood forswear. Bear a child of human origin. But a sickness took hold in Salem. First, it struck her husband. Then, her child. Desperation led my sister to approach Shaw and beg him to save her child. What she discovered changed everything. Shaw possessed a dark and ancient book said to be written by the elder god Cathar. The Dark Hold. We knew it well for the blood had spent centuries containing the aftermath of its vile magic. It could not remain in his hands. My sister and I gave everything we had to force him back. And as I sealed him away forever, Lilith chose to betray everything for which we stood. She knew the danger of reading or even touching the Dark Hold. But she sought to perform a ritual drawn from its wicked pages. What have you done? What have you done? be done. But in a moment of weakness, I damned the entire world. Leave! I will care for the child, but you can never return! Soon after, her child recovered. I did as I promised. Lilith did not. As 
as you command. Our contingency is the page torn from the Darkhold. You know it as the parchment of power. It resides in the hands of Jonathan Blaze, one of the few people it cannot twist and tempt. If the prophecy does yet come to pass, can I count on your support to retrieve it? Sarah, when have I ever let you down? We can't rely on Doctor Strange alone. We'll need to form a team with the best. The toughest. The fastest. The deadliest. And someone who can bring them all together. When the great Agatha Harkness tells me her apprentice is ready, I believe her. So should you. Now, our first candidate is Ileana Rasputina, or as she's known by the X-Men, Magic. As a young Russian child, she vanished from her family's farm. She resurfaced as a young adult and ruler of Limbo. What do we know about her? Due to her mutant abilities and her age, Ileana was admitted to Xavier's school. Is she still with the X-Men? Not since her graduation. Why did she leave? She... prefers to work alone. She sounds promising, but it's not the 18th century. Why recruit someone who's good with a sword? She's the queen of limbo. <laughs> In her hands, it's far more than a sword. How should I approach her? That is entirely up to you. Why do you run from me? I offered you a throne. My only price was obedience. Without me, you are truly alone. Yet. Why resist? There are too many. You cannot contain me! Hi, I'm Wanda. I like your catchphrase. Now, let's see what we're actually dealing with. Like you have this covered. I'll make sure none get behind you. Logan? Sarah, what are you doing here? The same as you. Watching over a youngin'? And doing my best not to step in. Amy. Ah, but they gotta learn to fend for themselves. for you and found all this i hope i didn't step on your toes no you knew not to fight my battle for me so what do you want from me i don't want anything but i wouldn't mind someone i could trust to fight beside me i can explain why but we should get off the streets there's a place i'm staying that's safe nowhere is safe not from 
Not from them. The Abbey is outside of reality as we know it. Whoever those creatures serve won't be able to find you. You should know. I don't do teams. <laughs> Neither do I. That's why you're perfect for my new team. <laughs> Looks like someone made a friend. Give my best to Agatha, would you? Hey, uh, Gabe. It's your big bro. So, I'm gonna have to work late tonight. I was delayed on my way in. like yours in this, uh, <laughs> neighborhood? Uh, yeah? Look very similar. Uh, but the one I'm talking about, the whole thing was on fire. Uh-huh. Thing is, it uh, ran some friends of mine off the road. Oh, yeah, put them in a the hospital. Sorry, man. I haven't seen any burning cars. Why don't we change that? Gabe. To a fight. I know, I know. We should never go looking for them. But sometimes, little brother, the fight comes to you. Dinner's in the fridge. Don't forget to charge your chair. And if you do your homework before I get there, I might be willing to share a bowl of double chocolate fudge. Love you, Gabe. Save your strength, Robbie. You'll need it for the fight ahead. I told you. I wasn't interested. And I told you I'd be back with a friend. Whoa. Is she one of the X-Men? Yes, she is. I want you to know just how serious my offer is. No, my brother needs me. Don't you want your brother to learn who you really are? To see you, both parts of you? To know you fought for what truly matters? I'm no hero. I'm not looking for a hero. I need a midnight sun. Uh. 
Is this how you treat an old friend? You prefer I follow through? <laughs> Fair point. She's quiet. <laughs> That's an understatement. I'd like you to meet Magic, Ileana Rasputina, from the X-Men. And this is Blade, also known as... Just Blade. So why are you here? I'm putting a team together. I know that isn't your thing, but... I'm in. Just like that? Just like that. So, what are we hunting? Hey, Molly. Sounds like you're enjoying Xavier's school. Glad you finally got to meet one of your heroes. As for how I'm doing, that's complicated. Magic barely comes out of her room. The only person I've seen her speak with is Wanda. She's slow to trust. Blade needs to himself. It's different from Magic. He doesn't want to get close to any of us. And Robbie? Uh, he's really homesick. Gabe! Little bro. Caretaker said he talks to his little brother every day. <laughs> I'm the youngest one here. The others, their abilities are just so cool and freaky. And I'm just some rando with a magic stick. <laughs> then, Molly Hayes, that's when I thought of you. You were the youngest of the runaways, but you always found a way to bring us together. Uh... Wanda said you like weird candy. And when you set your mind to something, you never gave up. But more than that, you were our heart and soul. Better. Hey there. You wouldn't mind if I organized like a Midnight Suns movie night, right? For real? So, yeah, I don't know how I can contribute to this team. Not yet, but you know what? None of that matters. I don't need to be the best. What I can be for them is what you always were for us. The glue that keeps this team together. And that's more than enough for me. So, now that I made you blush, I gotta get to sleep. Blade likes to train early, so. Love you, Malls. 